In this video, you'll see how to monitor your .NET and SQL Server applications using Amazon CloudWatch Application Insights for .NET and SQL Server. This service makes it easier to continuously analyze .NET and SQL Server applications performance data and quickly surface potential problems. In order to take advantage of Application Insights for .NET and SQL Server, we first need to have a .NET and SQL Server application to monitor. For the purposes of this example, we've created a .NET application running on an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2 instance, with an Amazon Relational Database Service, or Amazon RDS, for SQL Server instance on the back end. Now, we can configure our .NET and SQL Server application for monitoring. From the AWS Management Console, let's navigate to the EC2 instance. This sample application uses the Microsoft IIS web server running on Windows Server for the web tier, and a Microsoft SQL Server on RDS database for the back end. Let's open tags and make note of the environment ID for the application as we'll need this value in a minute. Next, let's navigate to the Resource Groups Management Console to create a new AWS resource group for all the components of this .NET and SQL Server application so that we can manage them as a group. You can define a group based on specific resource types and tags. Let's use the default of all supported resource types. For the tag key, we'll specify the environment ID we noted earlier. Now, we can view all the resources associated with this tag. Notice that the list of resources provisioned as part of the sample .NET and SQL Server on RDS application includes the RDS and EC2 instances. Finally, let's provide a name for this group and then create it. Now we're ready to begin monitoring this application using CloudWatch Application Insights for .NET and SQL Server. Let's navigate to CloudWatch Settings and add it to our list of .NET and SQL Server applications to monitor. Select the resource group we just created. It can take a few minutes for Application Insights for .NET and SQL Server to detect all the components of the .NET and SQL Server application. Let's refresh this view. Although we can see the components, notice that monitoring is not enabled yet. Let's enable monitoring for the database instance. Select the checkbox to enable monitoring. Note that monitoring won't begin until we save these changes. Several metrics are recommended by default and can be customized. Let's expand the list and select an additional metric. Now, let's save our changes to begin monitoring the SQL Server database. Next, let's enable monitoring for the web tier. Again, check the box to enable monitoring. We're asked to choose an application tier. In this case, select the web front end. By default, we're collecting logs from Microsoft IIS. We could also collect logs from our custom .NET application. But for the purposes of this example, let's remove that entry. Again, you can review and choose which metrics to monitor for the web tier. Now let's save this configuration to enable monitoring. Once monitoring has been enabled, it can take a few hours to start detecting anomalies and errors and provide insights for these issues. We're going to jump forward in time, and now that some time has passed, we can view insights for this .NET and SQL Server on RDS application. This is a CloudWatch dashboard that shows key operational data for resources in the resource group we created earlier. Scrolling down, you can see the insights that have been surfaced. You can click into a specific problem to get additional insights and detailed information about it. 
A short summary of the problem includes its severity and source and gives insight about the kind of problem detected. The page also shows relevant alarms and log errors associated with this problem. Scrolling down further, you can see other important metrics displayed in the dashboard. You can edit this dashboard or create new dashboards to monitor the .NET and SQL Server application metrics that are important to you. To receive notifications for problem events generated by application insights for .NET and SQL Server on RDS, you can create an event rule for the application. Let's see how to do that. In this case, we'll build a rule based on a custom event pattern. This pattern will look to application insights for .NET and SQL Server on RDS as the source for notifications, messages, or alerts about the Sample App Group resource group. Next, let's add the target to invoke when an event matches the event pattern. In this case, let's make it an Amazon Simple Notification Service or SNS topic that's configured to send alerts. Now we can configure the details and create the rule. As you can see, the rule has been created. Now, when new insights are identified, a notification will be sent through the channel defined in the SNS topic. You've just seen how to monitor your .NET and SQL Server applications using Amazon CloudWatch Application Insights for .NET and SQL Server on RDS, which makes it easier to continuously analyze performance data and quickly surface potential problems. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.